Hello Taurus, this is your intuitive reading that is reaching you hopefully with perfect divine timing. However, if you are watching this in present time, the time of me filming this, you would probably want to check out this week's astrological forecast and astrological predictions and intuitive messages because there is a lot there for you to receive and this video should go in hand in hand in alignment with that. Okay, Spirit, what do you see for Taurus? Wow, your Taurus is almost very similar to Aries energy right now. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is jumping out first and foremost. And this is all about death card. Ooh, death card reversed and three of pentacles once again. So there's a des desire to want to build, build, advance, set up. I just heard the word set up. You are trying to look for, manifest, create, building blocks to a very firm foundation for you, which makes a lot of sense, my love, Taurus, because Uranus is going through your sign right now. Are you good? <laughs> Are you guys good? Ooh, eight of swords, eight of swords, my loves. How are you guys holding up? You have to let me know down in the comments. That's not an easy transit. No, ma'am. Uranus really wants you to <sighs> mm, Taurus, you're not going to like this. Uranus really wants you to shake yourself out of and off of things big time within yourself, how you, your own way of wanting things to be and how you, <laughs> your own way of doing things. Um, I'm going to say that it doesn't feel fair because it almost feels like the rest of the Zodiac gets to choose what they want. And Taurus, it kind of feels like you're a victim of circumstance, meaning like, and the other thing that I'm hearing is like, you don't want everyone's leftovers. It's this in, indignation. Is that the right word? Like this stubbornness, this, how dare, you know, the audacity. But the thing is, is that honestly, the planets are favoring you right now. And it's not that they're giving you other people's leftovers. It's not that they're um, sprinkling into your life like what is left, you know, behind. And all of these other signs are getting blessed. It's just that, you know, Taurus energy right now is being completely transformed and being, you know, all of these changes that are happening are happening for your own future, for your own advancement, for your own Empress energy. Spirit wants you to have um, health and vitality and happiness and joy. Um, I'm also seeing you're having an almost hard time. Yeah, you should be Knight of Pentacles here. You should really be listening, learning, observing, taking notes. I always love the Mermaid Tarot. The Mermaid Tarot's um, impression of the Knight of Pentacles. Be, and I love that it's a female too. That's just personal. But I love that she's watching, taking notes and observing. And she really doesn't miss a beat. She's taking notes because it's valuable to her. She's taking notes because she's learning. And she's serious. She's committed. It. And look how intense she is. She's very intense in what she's, you know, watching happening right now. Watching what's occurring. And that's what spirit wants for you. Queen of Pentacles and... Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here, Knight of Swords, um, Upright. Ten of Pentacles is reversed, Queen of Pentacles is reversed, and the Magician card is reversed. This is very much similar. Holy cow, I shuffled. This is very similar. You guys saw me shuffling. This is very similar to Aries energy, so you might, I don't know if you have a person that you might be dealing with that's Aries energy, Aries and Taurus coming together. Holy heck. Holy heck. Um, or if they're... Oh, Seven of Swords, Jesus. Seven of Swords at the very bottom. So what I can say and what I can see is that you, uh, the, one of the first things I heard is don't take this from me. Don't take this from me. And it really comes from a wounded child space. It really comes from a place of um, that, like your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, you know, how you identify 
yourself and your self-worth and your accomplishments and what you work so hard for and how how hard you go for other people all of these things um and spirit is trying to actually take you out of that because that doesn't define you um that doesn't give you abundance it doesn't bless you it doesn't make you prosperous it doesn't encourage your faith it doesn't root you in a secure in a foundation that is secure and stable because all of those things can be taken away or you have to continue to feed into them in order for you to get anything out of them and spirit says no not on my watch not this time Meanwhile, you're over here holding on to it so hard. You're over here fighting for it. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and trying your hardest to continue to advance in it. You know, meaning like you just keep trying to take these steps like this soldier. Okay, we keep and it's every time you do that, there's a mudslide. Every time you do that, there's a hurricane. Every time you do that, there's this. And Spirit is saying because we're not trying to disempower you. We're trying to empower you. And it's not about what you can give, what you do, especially not solo, but how you're able to, um, I'm, I'm really getting a sense of align with the family, align with the community and have it very equal, very, very equal. But there's a part of you that doesn't want to accept that and doesn't want to see that. Oh. This is um, Uranus moving to the sign of Taurus for you guys means that you have to break away from you being stubborn and set in your own way, your own rigid way of seeing, th seeing things and doing things. And if you don't, Taurus, I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to feel like you keep sliding and the heart is showing up here. Travel, the ship, the heart is taking you. Yes, the heart is taking you to see and observe more. There's more more beneath this. Um, yep, you want to be with a community. You want to be with like-minded souls and spirits. You don't, I, I'm seeing you're having a hard time either finding that or connecting is kind of what's coming through. Um, then we have this, the blade here, the blade and the corpse. So the coffin, there's something that you are being called to let go of. Um, and my eyes just kind of trailed over to the Knight of Swords and I feel like it's your own, it's your own, um, your own way of perceiving, your own way of, you know, who you are is just rapidly changing. I mean, we have the Tower card here reverse as well. And... Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Which is she rules your energy too. Um, but it's it's almost like you're you're gripping onto it even harder as it's trying to take away. But Taurus, you were guided. What happens if you let go? Let's just ask that question. What happens when you let go? <laughs> These cards just love to jump out and have me chase them. What happens when you let go? Well, you realize, you know what? You were doing it the hard way the entire time. You were choosing to do it the hard way the entire time. Ten of Wands, the burden off your shoulders lifts. Two of Pentacles, you stop doing everything all by yourself or all on your own. You stop carrying the weight of the world, the weight of the relationship, the weight of the job, the weight of the career. Judgment card, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Wands. You start to see like, listen, there are other alternatives out there. There's other ways of doing things and other options. And that actually would be really cool, but you just wouldn't allow yourself to see that because your way was the best way is kind of what it is that I'm getting here. Or you kind of feel like, Oh goodness, emotionally needed. You, uh, oh goodness, that dive, that took a dive. Some of you guys feel like you really need to be emotionally needed or needed. This is how you identify yourself is by being of service or being um, available to other people to, to land on. And you are asking yourself, if I'm not there in this way, will I still be needed? Will I still be valued? And that's what Spirit is trying to teach you right now is the fact that, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to show you is the fact that you keep, you've defined, you've, you want to define for yourself that this is the only way that you're going to be of value or this is the only way that it can happen. And we're trying to prove to you that no, it's not. 
No, it's not. That's the major lesson here, Taurus. And I love that for you. So what do you need to hear right now? Your heart is guiding you into a space of community, friendship, alliance, alliance. Um, and that's away from your normal. That's totally away from your normal. Um, and if you have a really great, awesome support system around you now, um, it's meant to you're meant to deepen those connections. You're meant to deepen those alliances even further and see where they take you. I'm getting big time hive activity. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Bahati Life is um, one of one of the, uh, not mantras, but visions of Bahati Life is the bee, the worker bee or the queen bee and just the hive in general. And I just see a hub of activity and sunshine and honey and sweetness and wax you know things that you're able to get from the work that you put in why wax because bees you know they're able to you know make wax <laughs> bees wax get it but yeah i just see what you're able to contribute by working with a, a, a community and having a sense of community that is deeper and more profound and that you're not defining yourself on what you are doing for others but also linking up and who is around you and who's supporting you and that's very beautiful and i would love to see that for you all right taurus i hope that this reading makes sense and that it resonates that's where your heart is guiding look you guys higher font mm. this is friendships help i dropped my camera earlier today and it's having a hard time focusing let's see this is wow it really doesn't want to focus fine Fine. Um, yeah, friendships, community, support um, that wants to be there for you and wants to show up there for you. Um, but Taurus, don't get set in your own ways. It's one thing to believe that something is going to work because that's what you believe in. And it's another thing to be so rigid in your thinking that you almost become dogmatic and it ends up hurting more than healing. Okay? Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in next week's upload. Bye.